Elsie has been an outstanding carrier. She has always performed outstanding in sales and also in service. Just two months ago, I was put in a situation where I needed to dissolve a route and the first person that came to my mind to add extra papers to was Elsie. She went out of her way to make all new route cards of all the new areas that I had added to her route. Anytime I ever needed any help with any kind of re-deliveries or any kind of problem customers, the first person I don't ever hesitate to call is Elsie. Elsie is a shining example of a carrier of the year. I got started in the newspaper business in 1997 just as a, we thought it would be a good part-time thing and we could pay off our house earlier. I've had this route for almost three years. 400 and I believe 30 or 40 during the week and five something on Sunday. My route is probably hmm, about 50 miles from start to finish. Do I love it. Best route in East Fort Worth. It's probably the most money I've made for the least amount of effort throwing a paper route to tell you the truth. I mean, it's, and, and it's a good company to work for. I'm proud of the product. I'm, I, I read it every day. It's, I think it's the best paper there is. The main thing that I tell people who say they're not interested in the paper is that you're not going to get the kind of local news from TV. Things that happen in your neighborhood may not be on television, but they're going to be in the paper. If you just want to get a Sunday paper, it's going to pay for itself with the coupons. You know, it's just, it's, it's, it benefits you. I always am watching when, when I'm out throwing, when I'm doing, if I see a house for sale, I'm always watching to see when somebody moves in. I'm the first one they see. I'm on their porch knocking on their door, see if they want the paper. Um, you know, and just people move in and out, you know, it's, Always you gotta be watching for new opportunities. I don't have a lot of new construction on my route, so I have to really just watch what's there. See if, it if there's any changes I can, you know, pick up a new subscriber. I have a lot of older people on my route that needs their papers put in special places, you know, uh, stood up by a door, maybe put by a garage door so they can get it easily. And I've got some theft on my route that I have to kind of be aware of and control. So there is a dog on my route that every morning comes to the fence, he sees me going down the street and he comes to the fence and just barks his face off. So, you know, and I thought, well, sooner or later he's gonna realize I'm the paper lady and quit doing it. About a month or so after I started the route, I get a call from a subscriber and she said that, you know, she hadn't got a paper. I said, well, no problem, I'll bring you one. I went up and took her a paper and as I was leaving, I was driving down the street and there was one of the neighbors about five houses down was sitting in his front yard, at the house where the dog lives, by the way, was sitting in his front yard on a lawn chair with a pile of papers around his, his feet. And I stopped and I said, uh, hi, where did you get all the papers? And he said, well, he pointed at his dog behind the fence and he went out and got picked them all up last night and brought them home and he said I was gonna put them back but I didn't know where they went so I figured I'd just sit out here and wait until people came by to get them and the dog was in the backyard just as happy he was wagging his tail and he was just as proud of himself because he finally got out and fetched them papers. I like the hours that I of a paper route just because you have your whole day free you can do anything you want to you can you can volunteer, you can sleep all day if you want to, you can do anything you want to. It's just a lot, a lot of freedom. And I also volunteer when I can with DFW Sheltie Rescue, which is my, it's a, they rescue Shetland sheep dogs and adopt them out and, you know, you have to go maybe sometimes pick up a dog that's been brought to the Humane Society and take it to a foster and things like that. I have two adopted Shelties. Tiny Man and Sweet Pea are my dog's names. I was enormously I'm proud when I found out I was nominated. I, I mean, I was thrilled. And then I realized I was gonna have to make a video and I was just real nervous and upset. I mean, who wouldn't be thrilled if they won Carrier of the Year for the state of Texas? I mean, it's an honor, it's a huge, huge honor. It's my great pleasure to nominate Elsie Ferrer as Carrier of the Year.